Workers are staring down the barrel of another economic recession, and it will be one entirely provoked by the Biden administration and its nominees at the Federal Reserve. Spite evidence proving that current price increases are a result of pandemic-related supply chain shocks and mostly corporate profit-seeking, President Biden is committed to throwing people out of work and crashing the economy in order to fix inflation. And one of the administration's top advisors, director of the White House Economic Council, Brian Deese, admitted as much during a briefing on Tuesday. Here he was asked just how many people getting thrown out of work is worth it to curb so-called inflation. What level of increase in unemployment the White House see is acceptable in order to obtain lower inflation? Well, I think that one of the one of the things about this transition, uh, and we are in this transition, one of the things about having the strength of the labor market recovery that we have had uh, to date um, is that we are uniquely well positioned to actually move toward more uh, more stable uh, labor market. You see that, for example, in um, the uh, the high rate of available jobs per uh, uh, per worker. Um, that can um, and you've seen that start to moderate uh, somewhat. Um, so one of the ways that, for example, businesses can uh, reduce, uh, reduce their demand uh, if, if that is necessary is to, is to bring down the number of, uh, of open jobs they have available. And there it is. The top White House economic advisor calling on capitalists to reduce their payrolls, to lay people off work in order to create more slack in the labor market and crush worker power. Because the White House believes that workers with money in their pockets causes price increases. It's maddening. Here's Deese again. If he's confident in the team that he's put there, is he confident that they will be able to deal with this enormous challenge, which is taming inflation and not putting the economy into a recession? Well, I think that what, what we are, uh, what the president is and what we are very confident in is that we can approach this challenge and we can focus our efforts on bringing inflation down without having to sacrifice all of the economic gains that we've made because of the unique position of strength that we are in. Because of the progress that we have made uh, over the course of the last 15 months, we are now uniquely well positioned to do that. The argument here is that the economy is doing so good right now that it can be lopped off at the knees without people suffering too much. But there are a lot of indications that the economy isn't nearly as great as the White House thinks it is. New data from the New York Fed shows that household debt spiked in the first quarter of 2022. Growth is driven by increased mortgage, auto, and student loan debt. Outstanding student loan debt stood at $1.59 trillion in the first quarter of the year, an increase of $14 billion from the previous quarter. Overall, household debt balances now stand $1.7 trillion higher than at the end of 2019 before the pandemic. And the data shows evictions are ramping up. 24,000 people had foreclosure notices in the first quarter of the year, compared to only 9,000 in the fourth quarter of 2021. But the Federal Reserve is still pursuing a tightening of monetary policy. Fed Board Governor Christopher Waller said this week he would support even more substantial rate hikes, including by a half percentage point. Until this year, we hadn't seen a half percent rate hike since the year 2000. According to Moody's, the chances of an economic recession in the next two years are now even money. It's a coin flip. So I got to say, tanking an economy and laying off workers just ahead of the midterms is an interesting strategy. Let's see how it works out. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, Head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.